I am Daniela Agata P. Santiago from BSCM12 and I'm here to tell you the proper clothing the laboratory. As we all know, the laboratory environment is an inevitable hazardous place. And it's up to us to be responsible in having a safe and successful experimentation with proper variabilities. One of the important things that we must consider is having a proper clothing. Wearing personal protection equipment or in short, PPE is one way to prevent serious and fatal injuries in lab. This includes lab coat or apron, surgical gloves or gloves, safety glasses or goggles, face mask, face shield, and surgical caps are all optional but it is also important for possible splash hazard. Let's move on to personal protective equipment or PPE. Body and arm protection. Lab coat or chemical apron. First is the lab coat or a chemical apron. It is essential to wear a lab coat and a non-flammable chemical apron inside the laboratory to protect your body and clothing in any hazard. It also protects you from volatile and reactive solution you might possibly working with. Hand protection. Gloves. Second is gloves. It is very essential to always wear gloves as our heads have the most contact in chemicals during our lab experiments. There are variety types of gloves, such as vinyl, latex, and thermal gloves. So choose carefully what to use according to the type of chemicals you're working with. Chemicals can be absorbed in the gloves, so it is important to change gloves over time. And wash your hands frequently when you're handling different chemicals and glassware. Eye protection. Safety goggles. Third is safety goggles or chemical resistant goggles. Safety glasses has flash guards, this one here. It has flash guards around the lens and can protect you from a flying or direct flying direct eye to eye splash. Eye to eye splash, but it does not conform to the face here. So it will not protect you from splash hazard. On the other hand, chemical resistant safety goggles provides a full protection on splash hazard. It has adjustable straps at the back to be fitted closely in your face. It is possible to wear prescription glasses over safety goggles for minimizing the risk of getting any chemicals from your eyes. Face protection. Face shield. Fourth is face shield. It is used as a protection in high pressure reactions or possible spills and splash of chemicals to your face. And lastly, mouth and nose protection. Face mask or N95. Fifth is surgical face mask or N95. Surgical face mask prevents any droplet of fluid coming in contact with the solution you're working with. It also protects your nose and mouth from any splash hazard. Take note that it will not protect you from breathing in hazardous gases, vapors, or small particles. Warning! Take note that PPE is just a prevention of our body to exposure in chemicals, but it wasn't a 100% line of defense. Accidents in laboratory is inevitable. Wearing these equipments lessen the probability of minor and major accidents. It is important to know the proper clothing inside the lab. What are the proper clothing inside the laboratory? Not to wear. Clothes. You must remember that you must not wear loose fitting or clothes that exposes your skin such as shorts, skirts, t-shirts, and dress because there's a higher risk of being in contact with chemicals. Those fitting like long sleeves may have the risk of having an accident, such as knocking down your equipment or came in contact with your solution. You must wear made from natural fiber tight clothing and long pants that cover your entire body. Shoes When you're inside the lab, you must always think about the potential spills and splashes of chemicals, so appropriate footwear is important. 
Not just these hazards, but broken glasswares and equipments might also came in contact with your feet. Open shoes end with heels like sandals, backless shoes, slippers, or high heels are not allowed. Shoes made of cotton like rubber shoes is not allowed as well. Wear clothes, leather shoes. Hair and accessories. Always tie your long hair away from your face. You can use surgical cap for lessening the risk of any accidents. Remove any accessories like earrings, bracelet, or ring because it may react with hazardous chemicals. Do not wear makeup inside the laboratory. A good work is a safe work. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.